Welcome to the product demonstration and overview of the new SPT2 bridge. As you can see here, we're presented with a login page. We are now able to sync our bridge directly with our Game Tracker account. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my credentials and click login. From here, we're presented with a list of devices that are registered to our Game Tracker account. Uh, but we've currently not got anything plugged in. So all of these devices are synced with my account. I just haven't plugged anything in. And as we can see on the left here, it's stating that no devices are connected. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and switch on my charge case. From here, we can see all the devices that I have plugged in. We've got four devices at the moment. As we can see, one's unnamed and I've got the other three named. We can see how much memory is taken up and how many performances are on each device and the duration of these performances. As I go down, we can see how much memory is taken up on each device. On the left here, we can see device nicknames. Um, and for this on the right, we can see that the top device, uh, I haven't actually registered. It's not in my account yet. Really easy way to register it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click register now. Uh, from here, we do recommend that you type in a number first before the nickname as when you have the number in first, um, you've now got your devices numerically sorted uh, in the list, in your device list when you're looking at them, as you can see. I've now registered this device to my account, really easy. A way to edit the unit name is simply click on that little icon on the left and use that type box to modify the name and just click save and as you can see it's that easy I'm just going to go ahead and do it for my next two devices as well so again type the number at the start you can name it whatever you want and the last one here great so I'm happy with all my devices they're all ready to go these events on the units that we can see have actually been automatically detected by the bridge as I'm showing you on the right. We can see there are two events. One of them was on Sunday the 12th of May and one of them was on Monday the 3rd of June and one of them had three athletes in it and the other event had one athlete in it. So very clearly we can see numbers of events and it's going to group the performances together into the same event if the bridge identifies that they occurred at the same time. So these events are what we're going to see on the next page uh, when we get to processing our data. So as you can see, these are the two events just mentioned that have been identified by the bridge. One with one athlete went for 87 minutes and the other one with three athletes uh, that went for 49 minutes. I'm going to process this one first. Really important to select the correct team here when we're putting data into this event. This will become apparent in the next page when we need to select an athlete from that team in the drop down. So again, important we select the correct team, give it an event title. Add the correct tags. Looking at a custom tag here, all you need to do is use this type box and type in any free text, any custom tag that you like. Uh, the point of this module is that you can in fact give and any name you like to a tag and what you're going to be able to see is you'll be able to add it to any section so I'm going to type tall athlete and I'm going to put under other so as you can see all you need to do is click into the section you want to include that tag and it will be included there moving forward for you as well again this is why it was important to select the correct team uh, the drop down here is going to be the athletes from that team that I selected as we can see we select an athlete everything's highlighted in yellow I'm good to go that one is now ready to process. Let's move on to the next one. So as we can see, this one had three athletes in it that have been identified by the bridge from the timestamps of the event. Select my correct team, add all my relevant tags, put in an opponent name. Again, I'm gonna go through and just tag this event. And I'm gonna add a custom tag and show you that again, with any text we type in, we can now add it to any section. So a zone, 
is definitely classified as opposition tactic, so I'm going to add it to that section. Just by clicking on any spot that I want to put it, and as you'll see when I click it, it's going to appear where I need it to. Opposition tactics, zone. I'm happy with that. I've added all the tags and all the information to the event uh, that I need to. I'm going to hit next. Through to my assignment page again. So as we can see, these are the three automatically detected events uh, within, that, within that performance. So as we can see, they all line up really nicely. I know they're all from the same event. Now I just need to make sure I go through and correctly assign an athlete to each device. Very clearly you see which unit was used. Uh, ideally you've kept a list of who's won which device or you know this example here I've actually named them as well or the correct number. If um, we go ahead and we select the same athlete twice in an event what you'll see is it's going to appear in red uh, that means that it's an overlapping performance and it actually won't let us click through it's important here uh, if you want to continue that you select another athlete that wore the device uh, that with the correct assignment everything appears in yellow for us we're great we're good to go both of these events are now ready uh, from here really simply when I hit uh, transfer it's now going to download the performances off the units and then it's going to upload them directly to my game tracker cloud so the key difference is that we no longer have to undertake that two-pronged upload process there's clear distinction now and it allows you to work your way through the uh, event creation workflow the athlete assignments and the upload process and it happens all in one go for you. You no longer need to double handle data uh, and the download and up to upload process is significantly faster. So just remember not to turn off your charge case, not to disconnect from the internet, uh, not to cancel this process if you want that information uh, put directly into the Game Tracker Cloud. Our upload's complete. As we can see, each event does say Game Tracker Synced. All I need to do if I want to view a performance is click on one of these events and it's going to drop me directly in to that event in Game Tracker, and we can see it's now ready to go for analysis. So that's up there, ready to go. The files are still saved on your computer. If you do want to upload them manually at a later time, or this this will also occur uh, when you download offline, it will just save the files to your computer uh, for uploading at a later time. Really important from here. Once those events are ready to go in Game Tracker, erase your devices. Uh, yes, we can see how much memory is left on them uh, in our home screen, but really we, we need to be erasing our devices every time we use them or at least once a week just so we know they're ready to go. And as we can see, all four devices are now empty. Everything is done, uh, ready to go. And yes, that's the new bridge. I hope you guys enjoy and it's going to save you a ton of time on the back end.